Hey there, welcome back to another Route 24 video. This is Super Neptune RPG. If you missed the last part, don't worry about it. You will find a link to it down in the description. So go ahead and check it out if you need to. We're looking for some dictionary parts, I guess. I guess we need a dictionary to understand our glowing book. Um, so we're looking for a dictionary, but that dictionary just spread um, among other different parts, I guess. Cause it was so big, it was, it was, okay, that was weird. Um, it was so big that it couldn't be contained in a single volume. We are back to one party member, the rest of our party kind of split off as we are looking through this gigantic archive. Which honestly seems like a bad idea. I think we should have stuck together, but what do I know? This game should be out in English uh, soon, I think, like in a couple of months. I actually don't know. I don't really pay close enough attention to English release dates. But I do know that it has been announced for an English release. Like, Super Neptunia RPG is actually the English title. It came out in Japan as Brave Neptunia, or like Yusha Neptune. So I'm just referring to it as... Uh, the English title, which I think is pretty cool. It's not a bad title. I'm just like really trying to run cautiously here because I don't want to run into an enemy. Oh, that was really close. Yeah, I can't even equip that. That's not even a, a thing for Neptune, so we'll have to wait till we get the rest of our party back. Wait! That was... I tried. I tried to avoid that fight. The reason why I'm trying to avoid fights is just because the fights kind of suck when you're by yourself, but... Um, yeah, and also at the same time. Also, there's like a bunch of uh, the... What is it? The Like the mud jellies? They absorb physical... Uh, physical attacks. I guess I could change Neptune, but but I won't. So by change, I mean like change whatever attack she's using, because um, I, I think she's learned some other ones. But whatever. That was pretty weird, but whatever. Yeah, there's like a weird thing where if you dash um, in the right like way, you actually won't go up those stairs. Like you'll slide down like that. Just, just a weird thing that I've noticed. Not a not a game breaker, but you know. Where do we need to go, by the way? So we came from down here. And I think we're done with that area. There's a book that's really strong, but. Maybe we need to go back up? This is probably the right way because we're getting a cutscene right now. Okay, that's uh, concerning. Okay, so Noir is in trouble. Um, she's saying that she's not a spy. She's just a little lost. So I guess she's been captured. Okay, so whoever that is, whatever that voice is, they're saying like, like a normal, like, I don't want to say like lost child, but like, you know, some someone who's like wandered their their way into here. There's no way that they'd be able to get this far in. So you're not, like, just a lost child. Okay, 
Uh, so I've heard that the like resistance spies have been trying to infiltrate their way into our base. Uh, but we've finally captured you. Alright, so we need to contact Buran. Uh, is she texting her or whatever? I don't know, are they talking like on a phone or... Okay, whatever. So, Buran is saying to head back to the entrance or whatever. We, we gotta save her. Alright, so regripping is the best choice for now. Like, just running in would probably get us captured. Alright, well, so whoever this character is, she's pretty pleased that she's captured Noir, she seems like... She's pretty jazzed that she captured her. Is she captured? Is Noir captured? She looks like she's kind of putting her hands on her hips, but we'll have to imagine her she's tied or something. Alright, so she's gonna take us to like the training camp or whatever of the I don't know how to translate that. It's like the um the Mad King, I guess. Just some of that out of nowhere, but yeah, she's like, oh, I welcome people like you with strong looks in your eyes. Okay, um, I guess we're supposed to go back to the entrance, so that's over here. Yeah, I can't fight these things because I um, have a physical attack right now. I could use my items, but I'd rather not. And that's the one thing that bugs me about this game. So I, I, I selected Runaway. And then I turned around, but then I like turned back the other way. But the game didn't really give me a feedback that my attempt to run away had failed. It just kind of didn't. It just didn't work. What? Okay. That's not the right way. Then that's over there. I guess we need to find. Am I going the right way? I'm pretty lost. But now that we have our our buddy. Our buddy, sorry, our pudding cat, we can do this thing. Is that all? Okay, here we are. There's one more. One more. Alright. That's annoying. Um, and for some reason that counts as a back attack, I don't know why. Okay, we'll just finish this fight, I guess. I'm pretty sure we have to start that again. Yeah, our timer's our timer's up. We have to start that again. I don't know if I want to do that again, to be honest. I'll I'll get around to it. I'll just it's not that important. It's not story based or or whatever. And I'm not doing a walkthrough. I'm not doing like a 100% playthrough, so I'm just gonna leave that. It's kinda cool that our pudding friend stayed behind though. Very loyal. So where's that? Okay, I need to figure out... I just hate... I hate this, this area. There we go, alright, all the way left. That kind of took me by surprise. Those those things will will sneak up on you. Let's 
So there's a bunch of games coming out in March that honestly look really good. I mean, if you really like action games, I think you can be excited for Devil May Cry and probably Sekiro. It's been a long time since Devil May Cry, like, the last one came out. Even, even if you're counting DMC, like the one developed by Ninja Theory. That was like, how many years ago was that? Well, it came out on the PS3, right? Yeah, it did, originally. So, probably, what's that, like, five? More than five years ago at this point. And then if, you, if you're like, oh, DMZ's not a real Devil May Cry game, yeah, 4 was the last one. That's even yeah, older, so. Alright, so Noir was captured under suspicion of being a spy. I think we figured that out. I think you might have already told her that. Alright, so when Buran Blanc, what's like, it's just like French, right? For, for white. Uh, Bran, okay, whatever. The time uh, when she escaped, when she got out of the archives, she also saw a pretty suspicious looking person running away. Alright, so from underneath her clothes or whatever, something like fell, like some book or whatever fell. Um, it was probably taken from the archives. So that person has to be like the actual spy. Right, so if we can figure out who the actual spy was, then we can kind of clear Noir of her suspicions and they'll let her go, maybe. But a spy of the silkworm would be our friend, right? Maybe they can help us out. Like, the enemy of my enemy is not necessarily my friend. Um, so what should we do if they're actually not our friend? We'll make them, like, help us out. No matter what it takes. Alright, we should head over back to... Alright, so we have uh, Budan back in our party. Awesome. So that'll really help out with some battles. Let's go ahead. Let's take a super quick break right there, though. So if you don't want to miss the next part when it comes up in the channel, uh, I guess just keep an eye on it. I don't know why I'm running perpetually. Let me know what you thought. Leave a comment down below. You can also follow me on Twitter. You will find a link to my profile down in the description. If you have some extra time, why not head on over to the channel page and maybe you'll find another video to enjoy if you like games like this, Japanese games. Uh, hopefully you'll find another video to enjoy. But as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again. Take care.